Hello guys and welcome to Asgall Owns, uh, the Diablo 3 beta. Uh, we're in Cathedral level 4 on our hunt for the Skeleton King. It's, uh, it's quite the big cathedral. I don't know about you guys, but I've never been in like these huge mega churches with multiple like basement levels and things and like, I don't know, it seems like they have like prisons down here and all kinds of stuff. A little bit ridiculous. Let's see, before I go through there, let's just check. Check around here. I mean, there's all these gargoyle statues and things. Like, I've never seen anything like this. Whoa. Dang it. Took that damage. Oh. That guy actually spit out little imps. Instead of his usual. Uh, <laughs> instead of his usual snakes. Check that bookcase. There we go. Wasn't letting me click it for a little while. Or I was clicking on it, but it just wouldn't search it. Oh, even though there's nothing to kill. Ah. So much gold. Destruction bonus. Oh, he's got nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's the roll the dice. Sometimes you can find stuff that's really awesome, sometimes there's nothing. It's the beauty of randomized loot. Okay, now we go onward. Ever onward. <laughs> oh, you're ugly. <laughs> Little noise they make. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that before. Ranged. Kill them quickly. Not that I'm too scared. I am a barbarian after all. The only class really to survive all the Diablo games. Love, love, love the destructible environments. It just, it just brings so much to the visual experience. I like being able to just swinging my sword and just seeing stuff fly everywhere. I think that is a really, really nice touch. Oh, stepped on him. Oh, I got him. <laughs> he kind of heard a little squishy noise. Potions. I think I've only used like one potion for the entirety of this let's play. So, don't take too much damage. Dead villager that I must have forgot to loot. Ring of the Lion. I forget what is of the lion. Plus 11 to attack. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I wonder what's better. Let's see. Um, character sheet? Right now, that's increased by 72%. I went up to 83% of my, my damage. Actually, it dropped. Okay, so we'll keep the one that we have. It's nice that they show you the damage per second. That way there's no question as to what's better. It's pretty cool. Although it does depend on what you're going for. I think that there are instances where your damage per second could be less and it could be better depending on what you wanted. Like if you wanted um, 
a slower weapon that hits harder, um, kind of like I'm using. I think that would lower your damage per second than, say, a weapon that attacks fast. But, not positive. I'm glad, I'm glad that my uh, Fraps hasn't been messing up. I think that's what it was. I know I mentioned in my last video that um, I was actually having a hard time recording. Um, I, it would lag really, really bad. Um, just unplayable. Um, I think it was Fraps. I just don't know what's exactly wrong with it. More imps. More of the little babies. This is ridiculous, like, I'm just killing everything in one hit. It's the only thing I don't kill in one hit are the guys with the shields. And that's because you have to break their shields first. And then I kill them in one hit. Let's see. Scroll of Companion. Why don't I use one of those? Ooh, a bat. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Chest. It's all glowy and looking all pretty. Whoa. Froze. Oh, I was so far away. Short Sword of Winter. That sounds pretty cool. One to two coal damage. That's garbage. Let's see. Healing potion. Let's do this chest. Oh, this looks very familiar. In the uh, demo that Jay Wilson uh, narrated for, there was something very similar to this. The altars just looked slightly different, I think is all it was. What's in the chest? That is so cool. I'm excited. Let's see. Let us see. Okay, that's pretty good. Got a better hat for the wizard. I'll hang on to that. Some pants with better magic find. I'll hang on to those as well. Why don't I break down some of this other stuff, though? Cool. I wish you could kill them like right before they summoned the other guys. Oh jeez, I didn't even take care of them. Most people don't survive more than one hit. <laughs> That kind of looks like that maybe that's the right way to go. So why don't I explore over here first? Actually, I'll just make sure that it is the right way to go. Yes. Vampiric warrior belt. Let's see what that is. <laughs> 1.20% damage dealt is converted to life. That is really cool. Life steal. That is pretty, pretty cool. I would use it, but my belt is just so awesome. I would have a really hard time replacing my belt.
pretty cool. They gave the Barbarian just a bunch of gap closers. Um, I was looking at the uh, skill list. Um, if you actually go to Diablo3.com, you can actually uh, see the complete, as they are now, um, skills for all the classes, all their passive skills and everything. Um, I think it's cool how they concentrated. Or they, they made a point of giving the Barbarian a bunch of gap closers. Um, in PvP, that'll be really, really helpful to anyone who rolls a Barbarian. Um, they have a bunch of abilities that we probably won't see here in the... Oh, cool. Two Scrolls of Companions? Yes, please. Um, but they have a bunch of skills that we probably won't see in the beta. Um, like, they have one, I think, where they actually, like, throw something at you and there's, like, a chain attached to it and they pull you towards them. Either that or they pour themselves towards you, I forget. Um, but then, yeah, they have this leap and just a bunch of other ones that would be pretty nice. It'll be fun. I'm really looking forward to the arena. Even though I don't necessarily like everything that they're doing with the arena. Like, there isn't a, a rating. I don't know. That, I wish there was at least some, even some kind of like... Even if the rating system was just really simple and... I, I would have preferred it if they would have had some kind of rating system. Um, but it's funny, just like uh, a commenter in one of my Diablo videos said. You know, Blizzard, they just, they go to the extremes right away. I mean, if something they feel doesn't right, doesn't work right, um, they'll just, just completely get rid of it. Um, and he gave a couple examples, uh, for instance, if there's, you know, they, they, <laughs> they have all these extreme solutions to problems, you know, like, um, people were spending real money to, um, these are the examples he gave, people were spending real money to buy items and their solution was to put a real money auction house in the game and you know the stat allocation wasn't working so they just got rid of it completely as opposed to finding a way to make it work um yeah it kind of fits along the same vein i guess <laughs> i'm gonna get you Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, yeah. I thought it was pretty far away. This place is huge. I would have hated to attend this church. It is so huge. Get lost. So fast. <laughs> What's this? Says Asgore. Oh, gotta stop him. I'm summoning. Need more rage. Shields kind of spazzing out. Back to hell, dogs. Stun your ass. Oh, what's this gonna be? Ah, oh, dang it. It's hoping for more magic find. Which is a stat that is debated in the Diablo community by some. Some people hate magic find. Just the idea that, generally speaking, if you want more magic find, then you have to sacrifice something else. And if you don't have a lot of magic find, a lot of people feel gimped. So they were just kind of hoping that they would do away with it altogether, I believe is how the argument went. Um, I personally don't mind it. I mean, if you I mean, you, you make a sacrifice to find better items. If, if the stats are, aren't as good on magic find items, then 
so be it. You make the choice. I don't really see the need to whine and cry on the official forums about system mechanics. Well, about some system mechanics, anyway. I'm sure there are some that one could think of that would be worth crying about. I just can't think of any off the top of my head. Arcane Enchant. I hate these guys. Whoa. Yeah, those are those are Arcane Enchantment ones can be a real pain. I'm making they just have so much damage output. Oh, I like how when they go away they just kind of fall apart. <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. Gold. I don't like altars. Let's see. So wait for them to climb the wall. They see all their friends die right in front of them and they just keep coming up anyway. Fearless. They're either very brave or very dumb. Dead villager. And a lot of imps who are running away from me. <laughs> Oh, baddie. Well, that was easy. Passive skill slot unlocked. It's pretty cool. Pound of flesh. <laughs> Ruthless. So, actually there's been a couple changes, um, I don't think I've talked about those yet, I'm not entirely sure, it's been a while since we've done our last Diablo episode. Um, speaking of which, if you haven't seen the schedule on my channel description, um, I actually have a schedule now, so I'll be doing regular content on those days. Um, I actually specify what content I'll be doing on what days, so if you're here for only Diablo, you'll know when Diablo footage is coming up, or any other game. Um, but yeah, there's uh, the, in the la latest patch, um, oh dead end. In the latest patch, they made a lot of changes that I think are in, for the worse. Um, for instance, now you can't. Uh, actually, let's read this real quick. Increase the chance of finding health glow by 25%, and you get more life from them. Critical hit chance increased by 5%, and then the critical damage is increased by 50%. That's pretty awesome. That's what I'll be using. And so, they made a lot of changes, and I don't like the mechanic changes that they've done. Um, actually, that's fine. We have to go. Oh, yeah. So, for instance, now you can only change your skills when you're at a Nephilim altar. Um, before, you know, you could look at your skills whenever you wanted. You could change your skills, you know, swap them for other skills whenever you wanted. Um, every time you unlocked a new... Um, skill slot you could just assign it right away and now the only um, option you have is when you unlock a new skill slot um, you can then assign it but otherwise you can't access your um, abilities at all so there's just there's just you have to go to a Nephilim altar and I think that's I don't think that's a good idea I think that that's a bad system mechanic it's not enough that I think the game is gonna be much worse um, without it but it would be you know better with it 
Um, I, and in, since it's a you know it's a single player, no. And let me let me just be specific. Um, single player, I don't see why they did this. I mean, in PvP, being able to switch out your skills, I mean, you could argue um, would be a bad decision. Um, and I think I would agree that you at least have to choose your skills before you go into PvP. But since, I mean, it's a single player game, you know, I mean, no one else is getting hurt by you being able to swap, you know, uh, skills whenever you want. So I don't really see the harm in it. Um, I thought it was kind of silly that they took it out. But it's their game, and I'm I will love it regardless. It's not uh, it's not something that's gonna make me cry. That is not one of those things that'll make me cry. At least not in public. <laughs> With this warrior belt. Let's see if that's awesome. Whoa, epic. Let's see. Do I have any? I have anything. Scroll of identity. Nice. Oops. Whoa. That is awesome. That is badass. That is super cool. So glad I found that. Makes me happy. Okay, what is this warrior belt? Reckless warrior belt. Maximum fury. That's pretty cool. Not cool enough to stop me from deleting it, though. Oh, got more pages. Cool. Okay, so I thought this was... Oh, I thought this was where I was going to have to go, but apparently I'm wrong. So let's find out. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, don't tell me. It was way back there. Whoa. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I think that's some range on it. So now I gotta hike it all the way back. Got a little leg. It's not a big deal. Where is my... Keep going down. Take a left. And for the first time since I started playing, I'm all out of fury. How sad. Whoa. Page of training, swoop that up. <laughs> you hear him laugh at me? He's like, eh, 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 eh. I mean, I'm a little bit more raspy, but you get the point. That's silly. Okay, I think this is where I'm going to end this episode of Asgall Owns the Diablo 3 Beta. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll be more than happy to get back to you. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe. And this is Asgall, signing off.